I'm here with museum curator Eric Rivette inside Final Mission, the USS Tang Submarine Experience in the U.S. Freedom Pavilion, the Boeing Center. Eric, we have a question from David. How did Allies locate enemy submarines during World War II? We have several methods from very low-tech to cutting-edge high-tech in World War II, and they included things like visual observation from airplanes, uh, radar, sonar, and puffed off. Awesome. Well, that's a lot. So let's start with sonar. Um, I know that sonar stands for sound, navigation, and ranging, and it uses sound waves to identify objects underwater. Marine mammals, like whales and dolphins, use sonar to locate schools of fish. Um, they listen for the echoes of sounds that bounce off those prey to locate their prey. Do, so, Eric, do the Allies use a similar technology to find enemy submarines during World War II? Sure, it was limited in range, but it was the best thing that we had at the time for finding submarines under the water. Uh, you could use it from ships, and you could also use it from aircraft using sonar guns. A sonar buoy? What is that, Eric? A uh, sonar buoy was dropped from an aircraft, and it was a long tube with a transducer, and then the transducer sent a sound wave, a pulse of sound through the water, and if the sound hit a solid object like a submarine, it would reflect back and create an echo. And because sound travels at a constant speed through water, the time it took the sound wave to get from the transducer to the sub and back, you could determine how far away the sub was from you. All right, so sound waves are used underwater. You mentioned radar earlier to find submarines. Is right. that used above water? Right, and okay. radar stands for radio detection and ranging. And what it did was uh, the same idea as sonar, but instead of using sound, it used radio waves and traveled above the water, through the air. Okay. Well, was radar very accurate during World War II? Uh, radar improved exponentially during the war. At the beginning of the war, you could barely find a, a surface submarine from within a couple of miles. But by the end of the war, uh, radar had advanced to the point that in ideal conditions, you could find the head of a periscope, which is only a couple of inches in diameter, from a mile away. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, you also mentioned a technology called Huff Duff. Can you tell me more about that? Did it work like radar? Uh, kind of a different idea. What Huff Duff did was rather than sending radio waves out, you collected radio waves transmitted by the Germans. And when a German sub sends a radio message, Huff Duff would pick it up, and at the operator station you had what looked like a small radar station, or a small radar screen. And as soon as you picked up that transmission, instantaneously on your screen, you got the bearing that that transmission was sent. Oh. So it was very short range, but right away you knew exactly somewhere along that line, that bearing, there was a German submarine. And it revolutionized anti-submarine technology. All right, so very accurate in finding enemy submarines. Correct. Okay, so let me see. So Huff Duff uses radio waves to detect enemy submarine transmissions. Correct. Radar uses submarines, uh, radio waves to find submarines on the surface, right. using radio waves. And sonar uses sound waves to find submarines underneath the water. Correct. Okay, so waves could be used to find all sorts of things that you couldn't see, either because they were underwater, it was dark, or because they were too far away. Right. By okay. the end of the war, any time, day or night, submarines couldn't find them. All right. So, well, thank you so much for joining us to tell us about these technologies. Thanks so much. My pleasure.